This is perhaps one of the worst products I've ever reviewed. But this, I actually like this. Hey guys, T2 out here. Welcome to the Titan Preparedness Channel. Today we are talking about the LifeStraw Flex system. What the LifeStraw Flex is, is a three ounce, two stage water filter that features a water bag that can hold up to 22 ounces. It is a simple yet effective water system. The water bag is 22 ounces and is BPA free and will fold up pretty flat. This water filter is a two-stage hollow fiber membrane and activated carbon water filter that has removable and replaceable parts. The first stage of this water filter is a hollow fiber membrane water filter that filters down to 0.2 microns. It is capable of removing Giardia, bacteria, E. coli, and microplastics. It is capable of filtering 2,000 liters or 5 100 gallons. The second stage to this water filter is a activated carbon element, an ion exchange. This water filter is capable of filtering out 100 liters or 25 gallons. It removes chlorine, it improves the taste of your water, it also removes lead from your water. LifeStraw came out with a great product when it first was introduced. The LifeStraw, well, LifeStraw. And it became product of the year. Preppers started to take note and realized that the life straw wasn't half bad. But then as the years went on, more and more and more companies started to develop their ideas of their own. We know that the Sawyer Mini came out. And it was probably a hundred times better than the life straw. It can be used in line, it can be used as a straw, or it can be used with its own hydration bag or a basic water bottle. This is LifeStraw's approach to take some heat from the Sawyer. It is almost exactly the same shape and same size as the Sawyer and weighs almost exactly the same. The difference is the Sawyers are only the hollow fiber. This, like I said, removes the lead and improves the taste of your water. This can be used with its own hydration blood bag as a straw as a inline system or on a basic water bottle. The pros, this is a super lightweight system. It does multiple things, both removing the bacteria and removing lead and improving the taste of your water. Having replaceable parts for your system is fantastic. I'm tired of throwing away filters because they're either clogged up or they don't filter worth anymore. So being able to simply buy an extra element, it's fantastic. My wife and I use the LifeStraw Go bottles all the time. And the activated carbon element is also replaceable in those bottles. Granted, it sits on top and it's a little bit smaller than this thing is. And it doesn't remove lead. Now the cons on this system is it's a little bit slower than the Sawyer. There's videos out there of, of people pushing water through it. And it's a little bit slower than the Sawyer Mini. Con number two is as you are filtering water from this bag, the filter stops right here, about the 50% mark of this bag. So of the 22 ounces, it stops around the 11 ounce mark. So now I'm having to squeeze and force and distort this bag to get that last half bottle through this filter. If the filter didn't go all the way into this bag like it does, it would be a whole lot easier to get the water out of it. I'm not a fan of these bags. If you lose this bag, if you puncture this bag, well, then what? What are you supposed to do? LifeStraw thought of that. And this filter will go right on top of a 28 millimeter water bottle your normal water bottles, your smart water bottles, your Pepsi bottles, whatever, it will fit right on top of a normal bottle, just like the Sawyers, just like the Hydro Blues. So I do like that part. One thing that I don't like about these bags though, is that there's no cap. 
it would be nice for these companies to come out with a cap for their bags. That way, in case you just want to carry a little bit of extra water, you could. These bags are super lightweight and they're super convenient, but without a cap, it's not worth anything. Now, I understand that the filter is supposed to go in the bag, but maybe you just want to run a normal bottle and just want to carry this as a backup. Well, unless you put the filter in the bag, you can't. Now, I use the knock water bags, and if there's no water in my knock water bag, it makes a fantastic dry bag because it is sealable, it is closable. This, not so much. Another con. Like I said, this is Life Straw's attempt to get some of their customers back from the Sawyer Mini and the Hydro Blue. So both of those systems are around $20. This system is over 40. Yes, it removes the lead and that is fantastic. But $40, and it only filters out 500 gallons of water. I can't say I'm a fan of that. So, do I recommend this water filter? Part of me wants to. It is very intuitive. Being able to go in line with a water bladder, being able to put it on top of a basic smart water bottle. I love that. Because I'm going to get rid of this bag, because I think the bag's trash. But... Only being able to filter out 5,000 gallons, not a fan. Being able to remove lead and other chemical compounds from my water, yeah, I really like that. The carbon elements are pretty cheap. I think they're like five or six bucks. But the price for the entire system is one thing that really drives me away from it. Because for $40, that's a lot of money to be spending on a water filter that does not even half of what the $20 water filters will do. So let me know if you've ever used the Flex or if you can recommend the Flex. What is your go-to water filter system? And would you be interested in using this product? Does the fact that it take out lead outweigh the fact that it's only a 500 gallon filter? Let me know in the comments. Alright guys, this has been the review of the LifeStraw Flex system. Y'all have a good day. T2 out.